Hello everyone, this is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today we have some Halloween decorations and other craft type things that I'm going to show you today. So be sure to stay tuned, especially if you love Halloween and if you love decorating in general. Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you guys for joining me today for this spooky season for October. I am ready to start decorating my house. So I'm one of those people that I really want to start decorating like September 1st or even in, Oct in August whenever school starts. I'm like, oh, it's spooky season at that point. But unfortunately here where I live in Arkansas, it's still like 80 degrees during the day. So I don't feel like as in the spooky mood. So I usually wait until October 1st and right now it's still like 80 degrees during the day. But when it starts cooling off, I feel a little bit more into my like Halloween spooky vibe. Um, I'm going to show you some decorations and things that I've collected over like the end of the month of September to now that I'm actually going to decorate my house with here soon. I don't know if I'm going to do a video of like showing you my decorations. I might... I might show you a video of like my Halloween plushies because I have a ton of Halloween plushies. I just, I love them. I love them all. Um, or I may show you some of my favorite Halloween decorations. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys want to see some of my favorite Halloween decorations that I have? I have some things that I've had since I was a little kid. Some things that were passed down to me. And just some things that in general are my favorite. And I don't know why. I mean, I guess just because I like Halloween. So be sure to let me know if you want to see some of my favorite Halloween decorations or actually my house decorated. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you what I have got, um, through this haul. I'm just going to kind of like grab stuff. And I think I remember where they came from. This is like a compilation of stuff from Kohl's, um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Target, I believe. So let me show you the first thing that I'm the most excited about. Oh my goodness. Um, my favorite ride at Disney World is the Haunted Mansion. I absolutely love the Haunted Mansion. I'm actually watching it on TV while I'm cleaning my house today. The one with Eddie Murphy. I just love the Haunted Mansion so much. I have the book with the soundtrack and everything. If my house could look like the Haunted Mansion 24-7, I would let it. But I have a thing about spiderwebs. So, but anyways, I found this amazing sign from Dollar General. Look at this. It says, Welcome, Foolish Mortals. So, this is a line or a quote from the Haunted Mansion ride and also from the Haunted Mansion movie. Welcome, Foolish Mortals. I love this little thing. It's really tall. I love this bat. It would be even cooler if it had a little bit of purple on it simply because um, Haunted Mansion like colors are like purple and black. But I know they couldn't go too much with the theming because they would get in trouble for copyright. But I thought this was really cool. And it just stands up in the back with this little, like, picture, like, I don't know, kickstand. So I'm excited to put this right there in my front entryway where I actually have some bats that hang, like, down from my chandelier and stuff. So very cool. I love that. It was $10. They have other ones that have lots of other stuff. Like, there was one that said, come and sit for a spell. And it had witch's legs with the little boots and stuff. I thought that was super cute, too. All right. The next thing is just random. You guys know I love cats. If you haven't been to my channel before, I love cats. Um, I found this bag that was at Walmart and it just says trick or treat, but it's a cat skeleton with a fish skeleton. I don't know. I'm a sucker for bags, especially like small bags. Cause I actually use these kind of bags like TJ Maxx bags and stuff like that all the time. But I just love this little trick or treat bag. So it's just a plain blue trick or treat bag, but I will use it to carry pretty much anything at this point or just kind of set out with like treats or something in it. But inside of this bag, I have a couple of really cool things. Um, let's see. <laughs> Okay, the rest of the things inside here, so I have a Walmart bag that's full of Dollar Tree stuff. So I love Dollar Tree so much. Dollar Tree is like one of my favorite places to go. And they have some random rare finds, like this really cool spider bowl. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I know it's really small, but I mean, I think that's really cool and different. I really wish I would have bought two so I could have had like two on my table. I may go grab another one. Um, but if you're not a fan of like these colors and stuff, you can always sand them and repaint them, respray paint them. But I just thought that was so cool. And it was only a dollar for a little candy holder spider thing. And yes, I don't like spiders that much, 
but spider decorations don't bother me. So actually one of my favorite Halloween decorations, if you want to see that video, is a spider that I bought from Spirit Halloween like 10 years ago and I named him Sydney and I love him so much, which is so strange because I don't like spiders. But I also found this cute little trick or treat sign. It's just like um, compressed cardboard or whatever it is, but it does have some cute little bat designs. That was a Dollar Tree as well for a dollar. It does have a thing where you can hang it, but it's like kind of crooked. So I'm not going to hang it. It's just going to sit somewhere like on my table or counter or something. The next thing I got I thought was super cool. This is a Halloween garland and it says Happy Halloween and it has little black kitty cats on it and ghosts. So I don't know. There's not a picture of it actually fully spread out, but it does say Happy Halloween. There are some ghosts and kitty cats that are on some of the letters. I think this would be really cute. It's made of felt. Um, I think this would be really cute like on my mantle right underneath my TV. So I love that. Um, the next things were like some craft things that I randomly grabbed. Um, it looks like this is going to be a haunted house that you can actually make with some foam and stuff like that. Or you can just kind of like stick them together, glue them together. I thought that was cute. I don't know. Would you guys like to do a craft like this? Let me show you a craft like this. Let me know because I love those little things. Um, the other one that I got was a bag. I'm assuming it's like a trick-or-treat bag. Um, it looks like kind of like the same canvas fabric. Um, and then you also have like all the stuff that you can actually decorate it and make it look like a black cat. So, I don't know. I thought that was really cool. Super cute. Maybe these were from Walmart. I can't remember. They're, it's like a mixture at this point. But be sure to let me know if you want to see some craft stuff. So, these are two little craft things I got too. Another craft thing that I got. Actually, my husband bought this little craft thing for me. Because um, he knows that I love cats and I love Halloween. He actually bought this for me like beginning of the school year. I have this little like pumpkin decorating kit of these little uh, stick-ons you can do to make it look like a black cat. So I think he got this at Walmart. Um, you can put this on a regular pumpkin, but I'm going to try and find um, a black styrofoam pumpkin so that I can keep it forever. Because <laughs> I, I like pumpkins, but they kind of drive me nuts because they just you know, they rot eventually. So, but anyways, I think I'm going to try and find a black styrofoam pumpkin to put this on and decorate as well. So let me know if y'all want to see some Halloween crafts. I do have some of those things in the works. Um, it's just going to take me a little time to get those po posted out to you. Some other things that I have for crafts, for example, <laughs> from Dollar Tree, I do have two of these like wreath things that I have some tool and some other things. I've actually made a wreath before. Um, I may show you that in my favorite decorations. I've made an awesome wreath before um, that was made out of yarn and stuff like that. So I might show you guys that in the future or show you how I made it. I don't know. So I bought these for making some more Halloween wreaths. Then also at Dollar Tree, I found these cute little like fairy lights. I know that these are really cheap. I think I bought four of them all in orange. Yeah, they're all in orange. But again, more craft stuff. My husband and I have saved a ton of bottles and we're trying to make them into potion things. So I thought maybe these would be cute to like decorate around or put inside of the bottles and stuff like that for um, potion stuff. I actually have like a huge, in my um, kitchen, I can see from here, I have um, all the cabinets aligned the wall. And so I have all this space up above my cabinets that I thought would be so cool to do like Halloween potion bottles and cauldrons and decorations and stuff. I don't know. I really, really want to do that this year. I don't know if I will. Maybe you guys can motivate me to do that because I think it'd be super cool. So let me know if you want to see that too. And then the last thing that I got from Dollar Tree was this cute little cat bucket. I love cats. Anything cats. I've told you that before. But I love Halloween buckets too because then you can actually put like other things in them like plushies. I could just fill this with black cat plushies because I'm sure I have a ton of just black cat plushies. But I just love this little face and I love the fact that the ears actually stand out. So I like this little candy bucket as well. The next two little things are from Target. These are actually really popular and I have sold some of my some on my Mercari as well because uh, I wanted to share the love with people. Not everybody has a Target. But I did find some of the costume critter keychains from Target. My favorite is this little ghost kitty. So they're actually like, it's a bat, it's a cat. And the bat is in a pumpkin costume and the cat is in a ghost costume. There is a mummy who's in a skeleton costume. He's not as cute to me, but I loved these too. So I definitely grabbed these little guys. So check your target in the dollar spot to find those. Um, like I said, I have a few for sale on my Mercari just so I can share the love of you guys if you want some, if you don't have a target near you. That was a lot of craft stuff um, and just in that one thing. So the last things that I have left, ooh, I'm like really, really short. Okay, and I'm working with natural light today, so I don't know how that's going to work or how well it's going to look. 
But anyways, so that was it for like the crafty type stuff. Um, I am, I am going to pick up some more stuff if y'all want to see, like I said, in the future. But the next few things are from Kohl's. And I actually scrolled through Kohl's um, website. Oh, wait, hang on. There's one more thing. Oh, yeah, there's two, there's two more things in here. Let's see. Okay, the next few things. Oh, I have something from Kroger, too. I have this from Kroger as well. <laughs> I showed this in one of my videos of I went squishmallow hunting for Halloween stuff at Kroger. And I found this cute little cat. Isn't he adorable? See what I mean? Black cats. I have cat stuff everywhere. Here's Ruby. Ruby, say hi. Ruby was crawling on me. He always crawls on me when I'm in the floor. <laughs> but this cat doesn't have a tail, which is very strange. So my husband's like, his name is Bob. So this is Bob. Say hi to Bob in the comments. Say hi, Bob. <laughs> um, and then I got some stuff from Target, too, from the dollar spot, not just those keychains. I found these adorable pastel pumpkins. I love these little dudes. I think they're just plastic. Yeah, they're just plastic. But they had, like, neon ones and stuff, too. A lot of my Halloween decor decorations in the house are, like, traditional Halloween colors, black, orange, green, purple, um, and stuff like that. But I did buy these to maybe do a craft where I turn pumpkins into squishmallows, where I paint them to look like squishmallows. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I could make some cute little faces on these to make them look like squishmallows. That's kind of my plan. If you wanna see that DIY, let me know. Okay, and then one more thing from Target, the dollar spot, was this really cool, like, tiered um, decorative holder of some kind. You could probably put, like, some little candies. You could put tiny little cupcakes or tiny little brownie bites or something on it. But I thought this was really neat. I like the little tree detail. I have something like this that is one of my favorite Halloween decorations, again, that I've ever owned. Um, it's like a little treat stand, but it's bigger. Um, that can actually hold a lot of cupcakes and stuff, but it looks like spider webs, and I just, I love that decoration. So I thought this would be a nice complimentary piece. Um, this was actually $5 in the dollar spot, but again, this is something that if I wanted to change it in the future, I could spray paint it. I could paint, like, the tree with some glitter or something. I don't know, but I thought this was really cool. So that's the last stuff that I got from Target, Kroger, and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot. This little um, pumpkin at the bottom is the only one that says something. It says, it put a, I put a spell on you. And none of the other pumpkins say anything. I don't know. Maybe I could paint other sayings on these instead. Weird. I'm so excited because I love blankets and I love cats and I love Halloween. But I don't have a blanket that is for Halloween. Until now. Look at this blanket. Oh my goodness. Look at this blanket. I love this blanket. It's the big one. If you know what I'm talking about from Kohl's, it's called the big one blanket. They are so soft. I have like three blankets of these. I have one with cats. I have one that's just like pink. Um, but I love these blankets, but look at this pattern. These adorable cats. There's one with a lion costume, mummy costume, bunny costume, which my favorite is this bat. Oh my goodness, the bat is so cute. So I'm so excited to put this on my couch and just cuddle and snuggle up with it. Max loves to cuddle with me, my little kitty cat. She loves to cuddle in my blankets with me. So I'm super excited to have this blanket. Like, this is my favorite item that I have bought from all of my Halloween, like, shopping so far. The next thing that I got is probably a second favorite. I'm really excited to put these on my table. These are really awesome placemats. So these are spider webs, but if you notice, they have like stars that are holographic and they change colors. I thought these were so super cute. So I like cute things. I like scary and cute things. Um, so I really thought this would be super cute to add a pop to my table. And like with that little spider dude, where'd that spider dude go? See what I mean? I could like paint him a different color or something. And oh, that'd be so cool to put on my, on my table. So I got two of those. And this Halloween stuff at Kohl's was like 20% off. So not a bad deal. So I got two of those placemats. I probably need to get another one of those spiders eventually. The last things that I got at Kohl's, the last stuff for this video, I bought the little towel set for your kitchen that matches my blanket. So this one actually says, love my mummy. And it's got um, a kitty cat and it's a little kitten dressed as mummies. And then this side has the costume cat. So Oh, the bat one is the cutest ever. Which one's your favorite? I love the bat. The bat is adorable. So I have those for my kitchen. 
and I'm obsessed with like buying decorative towels for some reason. I have decorative towels for like every single season, every single holiday in multiples. So here's another set that I got. <laughs> this comes with like a little, um, it actually has like a little button so I can hang it on like my oven or something, which is super cute. So this is actually attached to this little towel right here. This got some um, more Halloween-y instead of just cats with like decorative picture frames with some monsters. And then the back is the same, but it's a white towel. So I thought that was adorable. And the last thing that I bought, technically not really Halloween, but it matches my kitchen for the fall. So I will put out my fall stuff and my Thanksgiving stuff right after Halloween. Um, but it will stay Halloween in my house for quite a while. <laughs> but I did buy these last little towels because my, um, kitchen is actually sunflowers and like bees. So it's kind of like yellowy colors and I have some sunflower stuff and some bee stuff. But I thought this was adorable. Look at that kitty cat. And then I love this side. Oh my goodness. Look at this towel. I love the sunflowers with all the kitty cats on them. So I did see some really cute sunflower placemats and some other Thanksgiving stuff, but I was really trying to hold off and just buy Halloween stuff this time. So what was your favorite item that I've got so far? I already told you guys this blanket, guys, no lie. If you do not have a big one blanket from Kohl's, ugh, you need to get one. If you are a blanket person, you need one. They are so soft and I love them. Even when you wash them, they still stay super soft, which is really, really cool. So that's my favorite item. Let me know what your favorite item is. Have you went Halloween shopping? Have you decorated your house yet? And please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments if you want to see any of this like craft stuff actually done on camera or if you want to see um, just some of the DIYs I have or some of my decorations in my house because I would just love to show you some of my favorite decorations or how I decorate my house. So um, thank you guys for joining joining me. I am so happy and excited for Halloween to be here. Um, I will definitely have a lot more Halloween videos in the future. So be sure to like and subscribe and come back and I will see you in a future video. Bye. Time to go decorate!